Good afternoon, everybody. Ron Coleman here with Artesian Well and Pump Services out of Temecula, California. I'm here at the world famous Blackmore Ranch in Marietta, California. I got invited out here a couple weeks ago with the owner, Jeff Blackmore, which has actually been a riding buddy of mine since the early 90s. And he asked me for some advice on what he should do about his water issue. I guess they did, a, did some service on the well about a month ago and they cut the production from about 140, 150 gallons per minute down to about 74 gallons per minute, uh, which left him a lot of water short for the watering day. So what I recommended is put in a booster pump system and install two 5,000 gallon storage tanks. Well, that gave him about a 10,000 gallon head start on the day. And it seems to be working all right right now. What we've got here, over here you can see the Rufus 10 horsepower, 140 gallon a minute booster pump. This pump right here is probably, without a doubt, one of the best pumps in the world. We didn't, we didn't cut any costs here. We gave Jeff the best of everything. That pump flat out gets up in boogies. We tested it this morning and I, I have no problem, no pressure problem around the ranch. We're giving them all the water he needs, needs. What we're running it with is a frequency drive. This frequency drive is a soft start system, meaning the old school system used lots of pressure tanks and it would be dead start, dead stop to wide open. Dead stop to wide, that's how the pump and motor that started it last, went through life dead start to wide open. Where this system starts to slow and works up to the power. It doesn't just go wide open. It eases up to it. So we got one of the best frequency drives that I could put here, which not only runs the well, but it also protects the well. Uh, so if for some reason the, the water well stops run working and the tanks run dry, so this will shut the well off and protect the pump. Uh, it also is a three-phase three, three phase, uh, 240 system. What I have here is a frequency drive for the water well itself, which was here when I got here, which the Danfo system is pretty pretty good system. Not not down down in that system at all. There you can hear, you can hear the soft start of the booster pump coming up right now. As you can hear the RPM start pick up. That's what I mean by a soft start system. We also added a lake of sand filter because for some reason now we've got a lot of sand in the hole and they get to work with the water well. We've got the lake of sand system with an auto purge here, which constantly continues cleaning the system throughout the day. We also upgraded the power box. What I got here is about as rickety as it can be. I don't have any more issues. We installed this yesterday and uh, we got plenty of room to grow. Lots of future, lots of future spots in that box. Now the pressure tanks here is just to run the frequency drive system. This is the well and eight inch casing. This well is 200 feet deep. And as I said, it originally did about 140 gallons a day, a minute, excuse me. The whole system, we, we put galvanized steel on the whole system uh, to protect you know, any damage that might happen down the road. It's, it's pretty good for underground, but when you have stuff up the ground, you want galvanized steel and the four pressure tanks there well i'm running this whole ranch and i've got several bed and breakfasts on here in the main house uh, this is just uh give give the booster pump a little bit of a break those tanks hold about 20 gallons a piece so you know, it gets a little leeway so the, so the pump's not working all the time and then I've got my 5,000 gallon storage tanks over there, which we might be adding two more to that one. As you can see, more 
galvanized steel, so you know if a car ran into it, it might bend the bumper instead of just breaking the pipe. Same with down here with the two-inch ball valve. We didn't need to spend any money on steel tanks. These Bushman tanks are just as good as it gets for plastic. They're California approved for drinking and they'll last forever. They're baffled together, so when this one fills up, it's filling both the tanks. So if we need to add more, I designed a plug here. So if we put more, we'll just go straight back through there and they'll join the two, two two new tanks to two existing tanks. I use sand as a base. I just, it's just much better when you're using plastic. Bee gravel I use for steel tanks. Well, that's my job, guys. Y'all have a great day and thank, welcome to my world. <laughs>